I'm insta installing vertical blinds. Uh, excellent for patios and deck entrances and sliding doors. We've got all our gear here. Um, of course, the vertical blind setup that I've got from Bunnings, which is um, the perfect size for our area we're doing at the moment. Of course, our trusty drills, as always. Tape measure and pencil. It's a very, very simple job. Doesn't need too many tools. And always protection for your eyes. And just leave them on for the whole job. What you do first is measure your area that you're at. And that is two metres, 2.1. So I've got plenty of nice little bit of room on both sides for them just to hang over and pull the entire vertical lines right back to the edge. So nothing's going to be in the way of your view out onto your deck or patio. So what we're doing next is putting on the mounts for your vertical blinds. It makes it life very, very easily. You don't need a level. We've got the architrave here, which is completely level. So that can sit flush with the top of it, which is going to make all of them level. They'll be all exactly the same. Very simply, put it up on the outside edge of your vertical architrave and just very simply mark out where your drill holes are going to be. And to same on this end. Time to drill the holes. Now for the brackets to be mounted, we have our little mounts here. Very simple. They go just straight up like that. Once you've got your mounts up, you get your little cleats and drag them nice and close towards you and fix them. There's a tiny little screw under there that'll just fix it nice and tight. So when your track's on there, it won't move at all. And repeat the process. I've got my mounts installed. It's ready to put the tracking system on now. Basically has a recess on both edges that very, very comfortably fit into this little aluminium jig here. I'm gonna get my friend Chris to give us a hand. Always good to get a hand with something like this because it's a bit of a tricky job doing it, trying to do it by yourself. The opener is going to be on this side due to the fact that the sliding door comes this way. So you don't have anything up that end in your way when you're going through the door. Thanks mate for a hand. Good fella. And the sender. And Bob's your uncle, all sorted, ready to start hanging up some curtains. This is the blade. Basically what we have here, there's a weight in the base of the blade. What we need to do is a little bit of trimming to make sure it stays just off the ground. So what we do is we get the side that the, the weight hasn't been sewn in on. So basically the pretty side and trim it towards that side so you also can't see the trimming. It gets folded over about 20 mil for our window here. That's about perfect. We've got a hanger and a rod that need to basically go inside where the trimming goes. And there's a hollow point on the end of this hanger here over the top of this rod. Very simply like that. So I've shortened it about 20 mil and very, very simply goes up into these little plastic area here. As you can see the hole on the hanger, that just clips straight up. Continue along until you've got them all on. All the blades installed, last is the blind wand to go on the left hand side because remember the door opens that way. So, and another handy hint also is make sure you put your blades on the right way so your blind wand will engage them opening properly. Very important tip. When you're opening your blinds, make sure the blades are facing outward like this so they slide freely. And back. And close them up. Job done.